drinking, having a good time. And then at one point, um, one of my friends offered me uh, Somali or ecstasy, however you want to call it. And I said yes, but was it worth everything that happened afterward? No. Me, I was lucky. I only got about a week in jail. And so my wife just had her baby. Uh, my baby's Oliver. He's three weeks old now. Um, I didn't get to see him be born. That day was really bittersweet for me because not only was I able to be there, but that was the day I found out that if I would have stayed in, I would have made staff sergeant. It's not your traditional scared straight program. We're not exclusively targeting airmen who have gotten in trouble and running them through this program with the goal of scaring them into obedience or anything like that. We're trying to target uh, influential young airmen on base in the community in the hopes that when they go through the program, um, they'll realize how just one small mistake in an otherwise good life or good career can have extremely bad repercussions um, and get them to go back to their, their group of friends, their peer group, and relay that information to, to their friends in the hopes that they can get them to make good decisions. California State Prison, the reason why I want to share this with you about this yard is the sadness behind it. We were a member of the greatest peacekeeping force on this planet. We were an Air Force family. Eye contact somehow would bring the wrath down on us. We didn't understand it. All we knew was is there are godlike creatures. They are the authority figures in our life, but that's an adult thing. What they were was our whole world. They were our family. They would get in those fights, mom would be knocked out. They'd be just the unconscious this also. So we learned to uh, not make noise. We're always together. I made bad choices. I made bad decisions. Every one of them is my responsibility because there's consequences to everything that we do. Every little seemingly irrelevant decision that we make. At least my mother could visit me. There's a mother out there visiting her son at a grave. We can't go back and fix that. There is no fixing my consequences. This boy right here, he's dead. I wasn't there to protect him. It's a failure as a dad. And those are consequences to our decisions. And it's all my responsibility. Seeing people that actually are facing 25 to life and hearing the decisions they made to get them in their situation, it, it just helps me realize that I need to start paying more attention to the decisions I make and the possible outcomes. Walk through a metal detector and I gotta let the officer see a place that don't shine. He's gotta see it. So this is what I have to go through for 32 cents an hour, five days a week, $2.10 a day. That's what I go through. You get to go through that one, I gotta go through the other one, and I gotta take my clothes off just to go to work five days a week. Think about that. <laughs>